All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of Full Body Cast. This one's going to be a little bit different. Um, what I'm going to do is in this episode, no guest. It's just me. I'm just going to give the history. I kind of want everyone to catch up as we get new listeners. We get new people, uh, you know, as guests. We that means we bring in new listeners because new people are listening. Um, I kind of want to catch you up because it can be quite intimidating jumping into a podcast. You think, man, I need to listen to episode one, and there's all of these episodes. Uh, I need to go through them one by one. So I want to talk about that. As a new listener, you know, what is it that you're looking at? What do you need to do to kind of catch up? Okay, so in this, I'm going to give you the history of Full Buddy Cast, where it came from, you know, why was it conceived, what is it, what was the goal then, what's the goal now, and kind of go along and talk about who I've had on, and, and, and it's going to be not a long, drawn-out episode, but it's definitely going to be something to to think about, right, and kind of give you guys something to kind of catch up, because again, trying to catch up with a podcast midstream can be super intimidating. Now, you know that there's some podcasts out there that you do start from episode one and you binge it. You know, it's got a story. It's got a storyline. Uh, you know, other ones that are kind of like a Joe Rogan, you can jump in whenever you want and jump out. That's kind of how this one is. It's kind of a jump in and jump out. But there may be some things that you might miss along the way, some inside jokes that develop um, as well. So I'm not going to call all those out, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. So let's go back in time. So uh, several years ago, in fact, I it was uh, back in 2016, I was featured on a podcast with my brother. My brother, uh, had some friends that had a podcast. I forget what it was called. Actually, it was called Crackle Pop Pod. Crackle Pop Pod. I don't know if it's even out there anymore. But they would talk about, um, you know, pop culture, movies, stuff like that. And so they invited me on just to be part of it. And if you don't know this, I like to entertain. I like to tell jokes. I like to talk. And so this was like, wow, that was super fun. And as I enjoyed my experience. I think I went on one more time uh, and I thought to myself, you know what? I want to do this. And I'm a guy, I like words. I like things that are funny. I like things that kind of are, are catchy. Uh, I probably should have been in marketing or something. I like things that rhyme or sound the same as something, uh, but it, you know, but it has its own little twist. And so as I was thinking about full, I was thinking about like a, like a cast, like a podcast, a cast reminded me of like a body cast. And then I started thinking of a full body cast. And for me, I have a lot of friend groups. I've got a lot of different friends, a lot of people that I've grown up with and kind of whether it's been uh, Enumclaw, work, church, uh, college, high school, all that stuff. You, know, you, you adapt and you collect these friendships as you go along in life. And I started thinking about all these buddies that I had. And I thought, well, you know, I got a full amount of buddies. And so then at that point, it clicked. Full body cast, make it full buddy cast. And I thought, there's no, you know, this is already taken. This ha There's all these podcasts out there. It's already taken. Well, I went on Apple Podcasts. It wasn't taken. And I started looking around some of the other type of podcasts. I mean, this was almost, you know, four years ago, right? So... So that's going to, that is definitely going to, a lot has happened since then when it comes to podcasts. Back then it was like, you listen to Apple Podcasts and that was for me pretty much it. That's all, that's all I knew about. I knew there was other stuff out there, but that's all that I knew about. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to do full buddy cast. That's great. It's going to cost me like 30 bucks a month because I got to have a host, right? And that's who I have. I have Libsyn.com. If you're ever interested, I get this question all the time. I want to start a podcast. I want to start a podcast. Uh, there's stats out there that say that uh, there's like 900,000 podcasts out there. And there's like 200,000 ones that start a year or something like that. Maybe more than that. I, I could be thinking even lighter than that. I think there's, I mean, there's 
maybe it's every six months. I don't know, but but people start podcasts all the time. But usually what they say is around the uh, 20 to 25 episode point to six month point, whatever comes first, people quit. They don't want to do it anymore. The reason is, is because it, They've exhausted their content. They, they don't know what else to talk about. They've told all the same stories. They've you know, relived all these different things, and they've gotten the fulfillment of that. And it probably didn't catch on. It wasn't something that was being wildly or you know, widely distributed. Also, they just not only run out of content, but yeah, they just kind of burn out. They're just like, eh, I did it. That was fun. It's just like, it's a hobby. You know, it's like, re, re, you know, fixing up a, a classic car or taking some cooking lessons or something. You do it, you have fun with it, but then it just starts to die off. Um, but I used Libsyn.com. So if you're looking to start a podcast, L I B as in boy, S Y N as in Nancy.com, 30 bucks a month will be able to, it'll host your your podcast. What that means a host is that you go up there, you upload your your uh, what you've recorded, your episode, you put your title in there, you mark it if it's explicit or not, you put seasons or uh, this, that, put an image in there. And what they will do, you've got to create all these different accounts and plug them in there. But, but once you've put in your accounts in there, your YouTube account, uh, YouTube creator account, or you can put in your Apple podcast developer account, or if you put in your Spotify page, or if you put in your uh, iHeartRadio page, yada, yada, yada. Once that black, you know, once you put all that stuff in there, anytime you hit submit, then it will shoot it to all those different, different uh, platforms. And so that's one way you know, you could do it in 30 bucks. It only allows you to have so much memory in a sense, so much data you can use for that month and it resets every month. And so anyway, I'm just kind of rambling about podcasts right now only because I get a lot of people that ask me a lot of the time about podcasts and starting their own. And what do you use? And it's just a laptop and a mixer and a couple microphones. You can find all that on eBay, not eBay, Wow, what am I? What is this? Two thousand two, uh, all on Amazon for like, you know, if you spend four hundred bucks, you're set, right? You probably get everything except for the laptop, obviously. But you download. I use Audacity to edit. Uh, so anyway, there you go. There's a quick like five minute tutorial. Have at it. Go have fun with it. Um, so I had fun with it back in two thousand sixteen. So I'm gonna do this thing. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be part of that. I want to do my own podcast and I want to do it with my friends because you know you run into someone at the grocery store and you just kind of like you know catch up with them and it could be a 5 10 15 minute conversation well that's the stuff that I was looking for those times where you're like hey we should get dinner hey we should go golfing hey we should have you over sometime um pre covid and you would just kind of catch up tell some familiar stories what are they doing now what happened after the last time you saw them and then boom, it gets blasted out there as a podcast, right? It's kind of the same thing. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, you know, I everyone sees Facebook, everyone sees Instagram, but you don't get to hear the voice as often. You don't get to hear the stories as often. You get to see the pictures of what they're doing and this and that. You don't get to see how they met their wife or how they met, you know, why, why'd they choose this line of work or what's it like? being a dad or a mom and and you kind of get into that so these these conversations were very you know organic you know and, and, hey how do i know you and, and i want to do a funny little spin off of full buddy cast meaning that someone's injured would be that that's how i'd bring my guest in so in the earlier episodes you will hear me be pretend i'm a i'm a like a emergency room on the go doctor that would oh Someone's showing up. Hey, it's Justin Heater. Hey, it's Rhonda Harrison. Hey, it's Jacqueline Morgley. Hey, it's Garrett Hooks. Hey, it's Mark Herbert Schmidt. Um, Adam Post, Adam Kenny, Rhiannon Broval. I had all these different people on. And so I would start putting it out there, putting it out there, putting it out there. And I would try to go to a month. You know, and in fact, my first one that I ever uploaded was called Prognosis Diagnosis. It's with my brother, June 8th 
of 2016. Let's see what my next episode hit. And I think that was with my other friend, you know, my other brother from another mother, Adam Post, June 10th. And then June 14th was with Jacqueline Morgley, and that was a two-parter. I did June 23rd. And then my daughter, Megan, and my buddy, Tion, and Tion and Ben Illman, and Garrett and Johnny. So I was, looks like I was releasing about two to three to four episodes uh, a month. And this was going along through 2016. You can check all this out. It's all available to you online where you're able to, to, to uh, listen to these. So as I was kind of building this up, one of the big ones to, to, to get on there was Jacqueline Morgley. I mean, Jacqueline Morgley is a great friend, but she's also someone who wasn't as active on social media. So a lot of people didn't know what was what, what happened to Jacqueline. You know, she kind of disappeared a little bit. And, uh, and so... That was fun. That's kind of, I would say that's the one that started putting my name on the map. Sorry, Adam Post and Adam Kenny. That one started putting it where people were starting to tune in. Oh, wow, Jacqueline. And uh, and so we were, uh... okay, sorry. Sorry about that. That's I'm not editing that out. That's just, that's just how it is. Um, so once we had Jacqueline on, then it was like, okay, now I'm going to hit different friend groups, right? I had my family with my brother. I had Adam from Safeway, Adam Post, and then Jacqueline from high school, and then uh, Tion from Safeway, and Garrett from church, and and just random people. But then I had, uh, this this one was, was a huge one for me, Rhonda Harrison Fisher. Rhonda also kind of ran into her at a at my kid's, um, you know, open, open house night. And Rhonda was, I was like, Hey, you should come on the pod. And she goes, I'd love to. And so she had, we actually talk about it and it's called help me Rhonda. That's the episode, but she had gone through a divorce. And so the only reason I bring that up right now is because that's what the, we talked about that. And she was very open about it. And it was very interesting. And, and, uh, that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted to have that if you're comfortable with it. And I would always tell everyone, this isn't live and I can edit anything you say out. And I'll probably, I don't upload upload it usually the next day, but I will upload it, uh, you know, the next week or so. So it gives people a chance to go to sleep, sleep on it, wake up, few few of that, then they, oh, and, and I've had people say, hey, could you cut this out? Hey, could you cut that out? I shared too much here. Yes, absolutely. I'm not someone, I'm not TMZ where I'm like, no, that's the dirt. I want the dirt. No, you're my friend. You're my buddy. And I want to, you know, respect our friendship more than this fun, dumb little podcast. Okay. So then as things start to get rolling, I start getting some more friends on, had uh, Aaron Mayer on, one of my good friends, especially back in high school, one of my best friends back in high school, uh, Justin Heater, Brad Naring, who was on Jeopardy. So if you want to listen about his experience winning an episode on Jeopardy, is I'll take the approachable Brad Naring for five dollars. Uh, we we actually kind of partnered during this time with Avalanche Delight in Enumclaw, which was a soft serve frozen yogurt um, filler up with all the goodies type of uh, shop. It's still around. You can go check it out. It's by Domino's, and we'd actually start recording in there and that was a lot of fun we would start having people just show up and we would get kind of like hey we're going to close down the shop and eat and and record but a lot of these were recorded in my living room with a single laptop with no mixer with one mic okay oftentimes one mic just kind of both of us talking towards the mic Um, and so then I started bringing in people from work uh, even Back in the day, had Alon Day on there. Speaking of Alon, back in the day, Alon Day, she's hilarious. I love talking with her. Then we had Tion and Rachel Heater on. Uh, Uriah from work. He talked about uh, hiking. He's just an interesting guy. I like I like that one because that was I try to rapid fire him with questions, but he's a guy that likes to process answers, and he just definitely slowed it down. But it, that's what the title is, Rapid Fire Slowly. Getting a Fix, that's with Rhiannon Brovold, who eventually, now, you know, she became a regular, had her own show, um, uh, which was a lot of fun. You can check those out. Um, then I'd have people from church, uh, Zach Cash, then 
um, Mark Drummond had him on. And then the episode of, of all episodes. Now, this, this episode is my highest downloaded episode. It's a funny one. It's an interesting one. Um, and I kind of, for you, if you're interested in kind of seeing <laughs> something that's just very interesting and fun and funny, um, I'm trying to pull it, pull up the, the, the data on it real quick because let's see here. Yeah. It's, it's hundreds and hundreds of, of downloads on this one. Unsinkable friendship, sinkable she rod. This is with Jerry Streeter and Aaron Mayer, and I put explicit in it because before this, I didn't have anyone cuss in there in, in any of the. I wanted to make it family friendly for people to listen and feel like they can listen to it with their kids in the car and this and that. But what happened in this episode, and you have to listen to it. I want you to listen to it. If you, there's a few that I want you to listen to. This is the one. Aaron Mayer had a conversion van that he would take skiing on camping trips. He'd take it everywhere. He had a PS2 in it, TV. It was called the She Rod. And you'll get all this history on this on this uh on that episode. But what happened was Jerry borrowed it, borrowed it, and they're great friends. Uh Jerry borrowed it for a weekend, take his girlfriend and this and that, a couple maybe I think there's somebody else that kind of went with them too, to the beach. And then he got the car, the van, stuck on the beach, and the tide came in, and it ruined the the she-rod. Now, when Aaron, according to Aaron, Jerry called Aaron and said, hey, this happened, and it starts to explain it. And Aaron said, don't tell me. Now, I want you to tell me on Travis's podcast. And he contacted me. So I go to Aaron's house and we just record with him and Jerry. And this is like a week later. And Jerry tells the whole story. You get Aaron's actual reaction the entire time going, what the heck? You know, why would you do this? Why would you do that? And Jerry being very apologetic and Jerry saying, listen, dude, you think I really wanted to ruin this thing for you? Like you think, and, and, and it got heated. In fact, it got heated a couple times where we had to kind of take a break and come back and record because, you know, it was a very touchy, sensitive topic. Anyway, uh, that is a huge episode that I just really want you to listen to uh, at some point in your life because um, it's a good one. It's one of my all-time faves. So, um, And then after that, I kind of hit this like, man, that was a lot of fun. I'm recording. I actually recorded with uh, Tyson Gamblin and, uh, and a few others. Um, let me try to try, I'm just trying to go to my stats real quick so I can kind of jump around a little bit more, but, uh, all right. Sorry about that. I'm not editing this guys. I'm, this is the real deal. So yeah, so this started hitting, that was 2017 when that happened. Let's see. When is Aaron's episode? So Aaron's episode was 2017. So I was in May. So I've been doing this for about a year. I was I was in April. Then I have my buddy Brad Naring on again. He actually does a Jeopardy Seahawks edition for me, Adam, uh, on there. And I think Jamie was on there too. Then guest uh, host also was Mark Herbert Schmidt. So June 15th, 2017 was my last episode. Okay. All of a sudden... 2017, June 15th, 2017, I was getting a lot of downloads. It was, it was getting easy in a sense, not easy, easy, but like, okay, I'm starting to build up, but I had to take a drink there, but I like got in my own head. It was like super everything for me work changed for me we were selling a house fixing up a house selling a house uh we were moving uh we're raising a little kid we got you know teenagers a lot of stuff going on and i started this this whole podcast after my divorce right so this wasn't like that wasn't a transition of of a divorce or anything and then and then i got and I don't know if you guys have had this before in your life where you get kind of depressed. It's a weird thing 
where you just don't want to do anything. Nothing sounds fun. But you, so you do the basic stuff that you know you need to do. And since this was a hobby and I wasn't getting paid for it, I was having fun. But it just slowly just kind of like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. It's kind of stopped. So June 15th, 2017, Mark Herbert Schmidt. Then the next episode, July 13th, 2018. Now this thing, 2018, that's a full year where I just said, I'm done. I'm out. I'm not doing this anymore. And then Kainoa Gregor hit me up and he said, hey, I'm going to be in town. Can I do an episode? Because he listens to the episode or listens to the podcast. I'm like, yeah. And then Sarah M. Johnson jumped on. So July, I had a year later after my last one was Kainoa Gregor and then Sarah Johnson and then Ty Stottlemyre. And then we start rolling again. Okay. We start rolling at this point and, uh, 2018 then we have august we had adrian cardenas on and then we in august we had mike martinez on but guess what happened i burnt i just i burned too fast i don't know if you do that on the treadmill where you're like oh yeah i was remember when i was on the treadmill every day remember when i was just rocking it and then like you kind of like go you take a break off the treadmill. This is in the, in the day, back in the day. You know, oh, yeah, but everybody used to do the treadmill. And then you go hard and you go super hard. Like you're like, ah, and it just it kills you. Well, August 2017, or sorry, 2018, my, I burned out again. Like I had like awesome people on, great people, friends, and I just died out. And then 2019, June 4th, or January 4th, so about four months later, five months later, what is that, six months later, wait, no, four months later, do math, almost five, I come back, but I come back as strong as I can. I said, this is my last attempt. I'm doing this, I'm dedicating myself to this, and I'm revamping it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring on a regularly scheduled programming. I was into Barstool Sports. I still am, but I was at the time I was really into Barstool. They had all these different shows out there. I'm like, that's what I want to do. I want to have full buddy cast, but I just want to be full buddy cast is bringing in friends and having a beer and catching up and this and that, even though it's a great idea. What I really wanted to do was just focus on being the umbrella of full buddy cast. So the original goal of Full Body Cast was just hobby, have fun, dink around, be dumb. Then January 2019, I'm like, I'm doing sports. I'm doing a girls podcast. I'm doing a goofball podcast. I'm going to do a regular this, regular that. And so we started sports, enter, entering sports. Uh, Tyson Gamblin, uh, Kyle Pierce, Mike Martinez. We talked about the Husky Rose Bowl. Talked about the Seahawks wild card, and that's as far as Sports Enter went. But I had other stuff going. I had pre-menopods with Corinne Wozniak and uh, Amber Masseri, hilarious girls I know. And so I'm like, these girls need a mic in front of them all the time. They will make you pee your pants laughing. Like, there's that funny. I needed to have the fun goofball, but also serious conversation. Bobby Martinez. So I had full Bobby Cast at that point, and then we had full Bobby Cast, pre menopods, full Bobby Cast, pre pre menopods, and then we went into uh, twenty minutes to leave your mark with Mark Herbert Schmidt, another guy that kind of has that goofball, serious conversation mentality. Uh, didn't, and then we had pre menopods going on with that. So we just had like every week we had like two episodes, three episodes, two episodes, and we had Sarah M. Johnson on again, and then in June two thousand eighteen, or sorry, two thousand nineteen. We had Tion on, and then we also had Zach Peterson. Now, Zach Peterson, I go to the way, way back, to, to, to Kibler. And we just had, hey, let's just talk about your traveling stuff, dude. Let me get you in. I messaged him like, dude, I want you on. He goes, I want to be on. So we, we, we did it. We got together. I One day also, I'm talking to Bobby Martinez after this. I go, hey, dude. He's like, you know people rent like heated storage units so that you can uh, record and I'm like, that's a great idea. And then I realized, oh my goodness, I got this whole storage area in my garage that I could just clear out 
and just put up my and so that's what I did. I cleared out one day. I put up all my posters from my childhood, like Sean Kemp posters and everything I've collected since then. Seahawk stuff, Casey Kane stuff, the works, and then that became my backdrop. And now I'm just like, all right, cool. I got my own little studio now. Again, with just a laptop and a couple mics. Uh, and so then Zach gets on there. We have two Dorcos with four Locos. That was a fun podcast because we were just talking about the stupidest stuff as we were drinking four Locos. During the time, during that time, uh, Joey Hollenbeck listened to it. He hits me up mid August and goes, dude, get me in the lab. I want to start one. So then we start that up calling Hollering with Hollenbeck and we've been running that consistently we've got over 50 episodes of that we've actually brought in some friends you know some of my friends some of his friends brought in all that and we've talked about everything from his high school career to his college career to his nfl career to just enum claw stuff class reunion type things pub crawls uh we're just hitting everything everything and that's where we kind of have like these like these types of jokes that that kind of because you know start to start to play you know what do you that inside jokes as, as you as you build up so uh you know we talk about you know he always talks about his sweet you know him being just like you know 300 pounds of sweet meat he's always talking about uh you know this that i have to cut him down a little bit like i'm a better athlete which i'm not but i have to cut him down you know he, he needs that um it's just fun to kind of joke around with him about stupid stuff and it, and that through that we've had a, all obviously other people listen and other people be on. Uh, one of my favorite ones is real quick, spit it out. Real quick, spit, and then spit it out. Uh, this one didn't get that many downloads, but it's one of my favorite ones. So we've done some traveling shows with also Zach Peterson. And then we had pre-menopods. Pre-menopods, we talk about. What, what is pre-menopods? We talk about reality shows. We talk about relationships. We talk about girl stuff. And I like being a part of that. We talk about sex a lot. And that's where we come up with these different things about, you know, is it Thursday? Because there's a time where we talked about how that was our routine, you know? And so, you know, for, for me and my wife, and then me, there's me sharing a little bit too much there, but that was our routine. Thursday nights, is it Thursday? So that, man, we should get a premenopause shirt that says, is it Thursday? It's a great idea. So anyway, we, we talk about that stuff. And, and premenopause are so good. They're hilarious. So now I'm releasing like three or four. I'm, I'm blowing up your 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 feed. Uh, then we bring on Ramblin' with Rhiannon Brovel. Talked about that. We talked about a lot of different stuff. Her Barre uh, update where she used to do that. Not doing that anymore. Um, we get into then start to get into some serious conversations in October about gun control on Full Bobby Cast. I a few people message me and say, what are you guys talking about? Oh, I want to listen to Fox News. I listen to this and that. Hey, Pod, this podcast isn't isn't for everyone. It ain't yours either. I don't care. I appreciate the feedback, but if you don't like it, go listen to another one. That's fine. I'm not offended, but I do appreciate the feedback. But I'm just again having fun with it. So if I offend you in any way in what I talk about or what I don't talk about, I had rambling with Rhiannon. Rhiannon anti Trump, huge anti Trump. You know, I use an I have an umbrella of people that are gonna that are gonna be listening and they're gonna be guests too. And I just let them talk, put a mic in front of them and let them talk. My brother has started like eight different podcasts with me. He's had, uh, uh, he's had happy little trees. He's had, um, bordacious. We talk about board games. Happy little trees was his art thing. We talked about full brother cast. I mean, we were talking about our childhood, this and that. I love my bro and we'll continue it. Random chats with Adam was one of them. Like I'm going to do whatever I want. My podcast. So, um, you know, we had a lot of different people come on. My cousin started coming on, Aaron Center. Uh, you know, I, th- I think we eventually called it High Centered. I'm not sure what we called it. Cent- center Yourself with Aaron? I don't know. i got to go further in this. Mike on the mic had Mike Martinez on there. He's a DJ in Enumclaw. That's what he's wildly known for, as well as his love for Lamar Jackson. But he's a funny guy. Just actually just got off the course with him. Um, we had again Mike on the mic, Aaron Center, premenopods going, haul on with Hollenbeck. Uh, we, you know, we, we just like to talk two T's on a pod. We had with me and Tion, hilarious episodes, hilarious episodes that you need to go immediately download and listen to. But anyway, centering yourself—that's what we called it. 
Then I had some random Super Bowl week stuff because the Niners were in there. I had Roger in there. I had my friend Jenna Brassard in there. My uh, my brother had board game layout. Wanted to do a podcast for that. Again, he's got like seven podcasts. Uh, Tyson Gamlin had him on. We talked about that. So now some of these videos you can go see on on YouTube. Now I had Holly Graff hit me up and say, "Hey, why don't you why don't you record all of them?" And just put them all in their video. And I'm telling you, it's hard. It's a lot to edit. I'm not that good. I'm not Bobby Martinez. I can't do it all. And so, uh, but but I do have some little little blurbs out there. So go to YouTube, check out Full Buddy Cast. Go watch some of the stuff. I even have a commercial with my son about selling t-shirts. And if you want to get a t-shirt, and if you're interested in getting a t-shirt or supporting me, message me. But we, I have a Patreon, and I got three loyal Patreon people. Eric Madrid. Kellen Hall, Holly Graff, every month they subscribe and they, they, you can give a little money, a little money to me, not a lot, but it's, it's, it's just to be kind of like, Hey, it's like the encouragement. It helps me buy more equipment. It helps me, uh, you know, get more stuff to out there. It, it, it helps me just whatever it, it helps. It buys me beer. It buys me something to, to, to give my guests, you know, it, it helps me. So you don't have to, but if you are a regular listener and you enjoy this, I would just say, please, pretty please with sugar on top, throw me five bucks a month. That's it. Five bucks a month on Patreon, search full buddy cast on Patreon. You can sign up and then that will help me be better. I want to be better for you. So that's my plug, my shameless plug for that. So now we're kind of rolling through here, high centered. It was centering yourself, now it's high centered. Had a birthday episode, had 15 minute quarantine with a quarantine teen. But that's what happened. So we hit we hit quarantine and this thing just boom. People stop listening because people stop driving. Right? People stop driving. And all of a sudden it's just like everyone's at home trying to figure out life. And it just cut into the guests I could have on uh, to how many people I could release. And then, so it turned into a me calling people and talking on the phone a lot of Holler with Hollenbeck, which is fine by me. I enjoy Joey. But that's a lot of people. Why do you just have Holler with Hollenbeck? Why do you just have all? Listen, guys, no one wanted to record during that time. I'm sorry. I can't just go kidnap people, throw them in a chair and say, hey, listen and we're going to record right now no it's got i gotta gotta line it up so a lot of people not wanting to record so we try online stuff uh i call a few people i call mike martinez kyle pierce you know uh zach peterson Uh, then we had adrian show up which was nice that was a lot of fun uh we also have uh then then all of a sudden i go i go golfing one day i go golfing with with Eric Madrid and Joey and we go golfing and Eric's like, Hey man, you should hit up some local businesses. Just see if they want to just sponsor. I'm like, that's a great idea. And that's when, when I got in contact with, uh, Sean McDonald with Cole street brewery. And so we started to kind of get the ball rolling there, getting some VIP treatment for the listeners. If you go there, take yourself in there on social media, you'll get a dollar off your drink, uh, and then a percentage off your crowler or growler. Okay. So go do that. 1627, uh, uh, Cole street. It's a brewery and it has, now it has grub on it. Right. So now it has a grub list as well. You also, I also got in contact with Mitch Fullman, Mitch Fullman. Go listen to that one with Mitch. You have people that are talking about wait, what he's talking about is his transformation from, uh, being overweight and unhealthy. And the doctor saying, dude, you're, gonna you got you're gonna be diabetic and this you got all this stuff going on to him hitting the treadmill no surgery hitting the treadmill doing what he needed to do hitting the gym changing what he was eating and he's just transformed his body now one day i hope to do that but not right now but i mean he was running 26 miles i mean that was his goal so so listen to those if you're interested in just kind of getting some motivation in your life back to the brewery brew haha cole street brewery Brew, ha ha, Cole Street Brewery. Sean McDonald brought the brews. I bring the ha ha. But I sit there and I just listen to what he has to say. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that about brewing. I, brewing. I don't even know how to say brewing. Brewing. I think I think I made fun of Joey and I did the same exact thing that he did. Um, so go listen to that. We also then started 
to uh, record again. It was just basically Sean McDonald premenopods came back for a little bit. We need to get them back in the episode or in the in the lab, and uh, and then we had uh, so Joey Holland Hollenbeck, Bruhaha, and then we had Andy Cardenas, Andre Andres from Mazatlan and from high, from Enum Claw from high school, and now that is a also a, a nice little sponsorship we got. So please go there to eat your Mexican food or your restaurant food or whatever. When you want to go out on a date and you want to get treated like royalty, go there and mention Full Buddy Cast, and you're going to get that free chips and salsa every time. But also, that was a joke. But also, you'll, you'll also be able to uh, if you mention if you mention the name, he said he'll hook you up. And in fact, Joey has an has a zone menu item called the Hollenbeck Chalupa. Go order that. During this time, on while I'm you know as I'm catching everyone up on this, just jump in wherever you want. Okay, what's the goal going forward? I don't know. I'm okay with ending this thing tomorrow. All right, um, I have no problem with that. Let me just also throw out there that I just did also have a guest with Holler with Holler back with friends guest MK Bruce. He is a, uh, he also played through it for Wazoo and he also went into the NFL as well. So, uh, just super interesting on that. Uh, please, pretty pleased with sugar on top. Listen to those episodes. Cause those are fun episodes. Please go check out the, the, the people that, that sponsor us. Bordeaux wine bar also sponsors premenopods. This is all COVID related in a sense where we're trying to do live recordings, but things just keep getting stalled and getting stalled and getting stalled. But the goal is to start recording live once a month, twice a month at some of these locations. So you can come enjoy it, have a drink, have something to eat, even be featured, jump on. Be a part of it, and uh, we'll we'll have you. We'll have little guest spots. I mean, we want to have fun, right? That the whole thing about life right now is let's just go do dumb stuff and have fun doing it. Um, and so that's what this podcast is: dumb stuff, but having fun doing it. So I appreciate all you guys out there. I appreciate the people that have supported me throughout the years. I appreciate the the uh, guests and the hosts and the time that you've spent. And the time that you've listened and the buying t-shirts and messaging me. And so here's the rules. I'm going to lay out some rules real quick. Okay. If you're listening to, if you're listening to this podcast, okay, or, or any of the episodes, here are the rules. Rule number one, give me feedback in a way where what you enjoyed and I'll allow you to give me feedback of the things that you didn't enjoy. So constructive criticism. In fact, Eric Madrid hit it on the on the head. He said, dude, sometimes when I pull up an episode, I don't know who I'm going to have. I don't know what the, it's just some random thing. I don't know what you guys are going to talk about. Do an intro, bro. And I get a lot of people that ask about that actually. Like, hey, like, what is this podcast about? What do you, what is Holland with Holland Back? Well, you know, if you're, well, if you're listening to episode 36 of 52, you know, you're not going to get the, the idea of it. So I'm starting to put some some intros, not just music, but just like, hey, this is what it's going to be about. And I did that at the beginning of this one. So I didn't have to make a new one. Genius brain over here. So anyway, I, I, I uh, rule number two. Rule number two. Rule number two is after you give me the feedback, if you enjoy it, please subscribe. That helps me with the downloads. Okay. And after you subscribe, go grab someone else's phone that's nearby you and just subscribe them to, Hey, this is a podcast. Check it out. Hey, I like this one. Check out this episode and then dial one up. If you got your favorite one that you already know, even the title unsinkable friendship, you know, sinkable she rod, boom, throw it on there. It's about these two guys. Holler with Hollenbeck. It's about these guys. Find the one that you like. Boom, just grab it and throw it in someone's phone. That would be sweet. I would appreciate that. Rule three. Rule three is please go to Cole Street and mention my name. Please go to Mazatlan and mention my name. 
mention the podcast. Go to Bordeaux Wine Bar, mention the podcast. And another thing is, there's another rule, if you see someone in public that has been on the podcast, go up to them and say, oh, I listened to your episode. I had that happen two times for Corinne. A barista said, oh, are you on Full Buddy Cast? So that right there blows people's minds. And some of these guests and these hosts that I have, they're like, whoa, you're the podcast person. I listened to you the other day. My friend listened to you the other day. That's fun. I'm telling you. And then rule number six or whatever we're at right now. And I want to, this is a huge rule for me. Huge rule for me. Send me questions. Have me debate with someone about if enchiladas are better than nachos. Have me debate with someone about is it better to get married young or old? Whatever it is. Why are the Seahawks better than the Niners? Because they are. That's it. That's the reason. But like, what, what is, what's your view on this? Here are five things. Rank them in order. Give us content. Give us ideas. Give us things that we can. Not how you should do your podcast this way. You help us see your vision as well. Because I have a vision. Don't tell me what you want. Show me. Help be a part of that. Uh, in fact, if you want to be on Rule 7, hit me up. You're on. If you're listening right now, right now, message me. I want to be on. And I'm like, all right, you're on. We will figure it out. I've got a few different people out there trying to figure it out. Okay? So, anyway, I love you all. I appreciate every single one of you. All the listeners out there that, that aren't even guests. Well, I had Craig Bentley on. And I've, I, you know, once, but Craig Bentley, shout out to him. Big V Veronica, shout out to her. Shout out to Holly Graff. Shout out to uh, all the people that listen that that I don't know that listen. Uh, shout out to the to the to the hosts and the guests that don't listen to their own episodes. I hate that. That's rule eight. If you're on, you better listen to your episode. Okay. But shout out to Adrian Cardenas who listens. He he'll hit me up. Um, People that just say, "Hey, I just I just started listening. This is great." Uh, there's a guy, a priest mode on on Instagram. Uh, I just all these different people that, that listen. Thank you very much. I appreciate who you are. Appreciate that that you reach out to me. So anyway, I love you guys. Appreciate again. I, I'm saying that um, this is an appreciation part. Shout out to you guys. Hit me up if I've missed you. I'm sorry. Okay. There's a lot that was going through my mind on this. But I appreciate, again, every single one of you. Have a great day. Thank you for letting me be long-winded. Take care.